Well, if you've uh, seen the last video of me taking the uh, intake off on this uh, 3.0, um, I did find out that the uh, soft plugs were leaking in between the motor and transmission, so I am going to have to drop the transmission out. But I haven't gotten to it yet. I'm going to be doing it probably tonight. But I decided to go ahead and uh, go ahead and look at the valve uh, covers here and the uh, lifters. This has a, a tick when you uh, first start up. It gets uh, when it's cold. A lot of these Dodges have that tick. And I thought I'd go ahead and take off all these valve covers here and kind of go in here and look. A lot of people, uh, some people haven't seen this uh, setup on this particular uh, car. And uh, to take this valve cover off, um, you just get a couple of bolts on the top, 13 millimeter bolts. You take off and there's a couple of little seals and you kind of break the seal loose on the bottom there. And um, the seal on this uh, valve pan body, uh, valve pan cover I should say, is leaking. So I'm going to replace both of these. Now you can take these valve covers off without taking this intake cover off, uh, the manifold and everything, the intake manifold. Um, what you got to do, uh, this gutter system right here, these wipers you take off and this here will uh, unbolt and you can take that whole piece out of there and it makes it pretty easy to get in there or you can just uh, go ahead and take out the uh, top of the intake here and it makes it uh, pretty easy to take out. And uh, in order to get this back valve uh, cover off, you have to take the alternator out of the way because it's sort of uh, in the way there. And uh, once you kind of push that off to the side, you can get into this uh, valve cover. It's pretty easy to do. But um, the lifters on this, uh, this particular model, I get the light just right. The little tiny things, they sit right about there. They're little hydraulic lifters that uh, kind of sit uh, sit back on that uh, rail right there. And if you can see the lifter, it's kind of hard for me to see here too. Uh, there we go. Right about there. And that's what um, th that's where my noise is coming from on this particular model, uh, this 3.0. The uh, lifters on this, uh, they're very small. They're about the size of... Uh, uh, probably your thumb. They're uh, 2.5 millimeter. millimeter. So I'm going to be replacing all these, I think, here in the next uh, four or five days when they come in. Uh, this is pretty easy to do. Uh, you just unhook the bolts on the top of the uh, rails here and you lift this up. The nice thing is you don't have to mess with the timing. There's a, a, a gear below here, a camshaft gear, that spins and operates these lifters and they kind of work themselves up and down and that's what works the valves. So I am going to be uh, doing that but if you want to do this job it's a pretty easy job to do once you get past uh, taking the valve covers off. This valve cover had a little problem uh, getting off past the uh, dipstick here. I had to kind of bend it a little bit but once I got it up and out of the way it did come out but uh, there's a quick look of the uh, top of the cam gears and how it's set in there. This doesn't have the traditional big lifters, the big two inch or one inch lifters that you typically see with the push rods. This is push rod free and uh, big lifter free, I should say, just with the little lifters kind of sitting right about here. They sit up in here and you can see my fingers uh, probably about a half inch or so uh, in diameter there where that angles on that rocker arm. That's how bigger they are. They're pretty small. I think what's happened, the bores wore out in those lifters and they're just not holding hydraulic pressure, but when it warms up, it starts to run better and the tick goes away. But I'm just going to replace those while this is all off. It'll make it a lot easier. And I can get all 12. Uh, let's see, there's two per cylinder, two, four, six, eight, ten, yeah, 12 for about 50 bucks free shipping. And a gasket, a couple of gaskets, probably for another $10. It'll be a great deal. Other than that, there's nothing else wrong with the engine. So I uh, just thought I'd give you guys a quick look if you're going to be uh, doing a, a job like this or you was wondering about the lifter setup on these 3.0s. But uh, like I said, the only other thing I can think of right now, in order to get this back cover off, I do believe this gutter unbolts. This whole gutter system comes out. I'll have to double check just to make sure. I could be wrong, but I know I took one out one before, and I couldn't remember how I did it. But uh, if not, I'll update later in the video. So uh, there you go. There's a nice look at it. And it looks like I will be uh, separating the transmission tonight to get into that soft plug fixing it. And uh, 
car, this uh, particular car, this engine doesn't smoke. Like I said, it just ticks in the morning. When you first start it, it warms up, it goes away. Typical Dodge. <laughs> so, there you go. One more nice look at it. Just a random video, so I'll have something to go back and look on if I need to uh, tear into another one. Because, you know, when you get older, you, you forget a lot. So. All right. Next video, hopefully, will be the uh, soft plug install and the uh, transmission removal out of this guy. So we'll see how it goes.